drop a like on the video in the next five seconds or NBA 2K22 will be the worst 2K ever. Trust me, I would not risk it. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double HDF, and I am back at it with yet another banger. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys what build I am going to be making for NBA 2K22. Now, if you are excited for NBA 2K22, drop a like on the video right now. I'm trying to see how many people watching this video are actually excited for 2K22 because we are literally less than a week away from it. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel, one mil on the way. You're going to want to have noties on because I'm going to be streaming 2K22 before it even drops. I'm going to be uploading banger tutorials, build videos, jump shots, gameplays, trolls, all kind of stuff. And one more thing, make sure to comment down below, what are you most excited about when it comes to NBA 2K22? Are you most excited about the new gameplay, the new dribbling, the new shot meter, the new badges, maybe even the new build possibilities, and whether it's next gen or current gen? Are you excited about matchmaking, the cruise ship? Maybe you're excited about the new level rewards and the new rep system. But speaking of NBA 2K22, here's a word from our sponsor, NordVPN. NordVPN is a service that protects your internet connection and privacy online. It even protects your online identity by hiding your IP address. Now you can use NordVPN with basically any device, whether it's Xbox, PlayStation, your laptop, your computer, just about anything so let's say you're going crazy on the first week of nba 2k22 you're greening threes you're dropping off dudes you know what i'm saying you're in your bag you're gonna have that dude that comes around you know you drop him off 21-0 you might even send him a message saying he's trash and then he sends you that party invite me and you both know the 2k community can get toxic at times so you might rethink joining that party you might say hey I might get booted offline. Maybe you have gotten booted before. Maybe you haven't. But they could pull your IP address from the party and then literally turn off your internet. So to avoid getting hit offline and to join those parties, whether it's on PlayStation or Xbox safely, you may as well get NordVPN. NordVPN allows you to use your internet anonymously and it protects your IP address. Not only that, but NordVPN offers 24-7 customer support, a 30-day money back guarantee. So even if you don't don't like it you can literally just get your money back and not only that NordVPN is offering a international VPN day deal so make sure to click the link in the description or the pinned comment make sure to use code double age at checkout and once again shout out to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video now let's hop right back into it so anyways let's get into what build I am going to be making in NBA 2k22 now usually when 2k drops there is a demo and this year there's no demo so we're going into NBA 2k22 current gen nba 2k22 next gen basically blindfolded we don't have much news we do have some news but not a lot of news and definitely not a demo to test out the build system now that leads me to another question what game do you guys want me to play first what game do you guys want me to play mainly do you guys want me to play nba 2k22 current gen or nba 2k22 next gen comment down below i'm very interested to see what you guys say because obviously there's no point in me grinding both games because it's the same reward so if i hit level 40 on current gen why would i hit level 40 on next gen i'm just gonna get the same rewards right but anyways let's kick it back to the last couple 2ks to what builds i made and why they were so good because i'm not gonna lie y'all are gonna be able to trust me when 2k22 drops and i'm gonna be dropping hella builds i'm gonna be streaming with those builds and it's gonna be super lit but you guys are also gonna notice a pattern in these builds and basically i'm gonna try to make a build just like these builds are kind of similar to these similar to these builds based on how NBA 2K22 gameplay is. But yeah, let's get into it. Now in NBA 2K19, I made a 611 playmaking stretch big. And it was definitely one of the best builds in the game. And the only reason this build was not popular is because my YouTube channel wasn't as popular. But basically, this is a 611 stretch big that could get pro drill moves and could break ankles and this build was crazy it got limitless range it got all those badges and i could iso on it so i was literally a stretch big that could iso and take screens basically the rundown is it was very overpowered and it wasn't very popular moving on to nba 2k20 i had several iso builds if you guys remember correctly starting with the famous 
perimeter lockdown. Now, this perimeter lockdown was absolutely insane. Even Bronny, LeBron James' sons, looked at my build and made my build and used it in wagers that he eventually would win. Now, this is a very good build that I started the wave on. It was a yellow red pie chart. Here are some of the stats right here. It had an 88 driving dunk, so we got contact dunks, 67 three pointer, and that could shoot very consistently in 2K20. It could speed boost with takeover and get the really good dribble moves without takeover at 81 ball handle. And then the defensive stats speak for himself. And all this, it had a 99 speed max wingspan and lock takeover. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite builds. I went on many big win streaks with this build, including, a, what it was it, a 90 game win streak on the 1v1 court. So yes, this was a very good build. I also created my facilitating finisher. Now there was a lot of facilitating finisher builds in NBA 2K20, but mine was very unique. It was actually a pure yellow pie chart. So no defense, no driving, no shooting in the build. It was just playmaking. This is a six foot eight iso build one of the tallest iso builds i've created especially on 2k20 it had a 75 three-pointer 81 ball handle just like the perimeter lock 78 driving dunks so we get park dunks and you know decent defensive stats nothing crazy but it had max wingspan it was 6 8 which is super tall on 2k20 and it could get the right behind the bag it had good dunk packages it had sharp takeover on a pure yellow as well with a 92 speed the stats didn't really speak for itself the gameplay was was where I was at and if you guys watch me play on this build you know and you knew it was a demon I went on a hundred and twenty nine game win streak with this build which is the world record 1v1 court streak and yes oh my god this is probably one of my favorite builds i ever made but yeah that build was a demon I also created the first ever yellow red on 2k20 that got sharp take but when I came out with that build video I remember dudes were like is, how is this even possible? It had the same stats as you can see. The same stats as a red yellow. Even a little better three point shot. The same ball handle. Still got contact dunk. Still got the, the insane defensive stats. But it was 6 7 with sharp take. Oh my god, that was a crazy ass build too. But yeah, in 2K20, I started a lot of waves and I made these builds very early on in the game as well. Just like in NBA 2K19. Now in NBA 2K21, I started with the best ISO build in the game. But in the prelude, I made it. Yes, the prelude, I made the quote-unquote slasher build. That I mean, Just look at these stats, bro. 85 ball handle, 81 three, 86 driving dunk, which is contact dunk, 85 steal, 81 permanent defense with a 95 speed. Oh my gosh, this build was crazy until they really patched the shooting. Then it wasn't as good. Probably would have been the best build in the game if 2K21 current was a little more ISO friendly. But it really wasn't. But overall, it couldn't have got better with an ISO build for NBA 2K21 current gen. Definitely one of my favorite builds on the game. It's, it was definitely overpowered. I mean, that build was going viral to start 2K21. I also made this six foot one play shot. Now, even though this wasn't a ISO, but I made this very early on. This the first boot camp, which is like the first or second week of the game. This was my, my boot camp build. This is my boot camp build. The second build I ever made was the best play shot build in the game. And this, to be honest, I feel like the play shot was so underrated when it comes to one of the most overpowered builds of all time. You're talking about a build that gets a 95 3 and a 93 ball handle with an 82 steal and a 66 uh, driving dunk with an 84 layup? How is it even possible, 2K? Come on now. And a 99 speed? That's crazy. Then once. I started getting back into 2K21 current gen after the next gen grind. I made the three-point playmaker. Oh my gosh. One of my favorite builds. Definitely a good 1v1 build. 96 speed. It got an 87-3, 87 ball handle, 86 steal. Basically, it was just a play shot pie chart, but max wingspan, 6-5, and was just a good defender. Had lock takeover. It was just a beast. I also made this slashing playmaker iso build that got sharp take, 94 ball handle, 99 speed. Literally the fastest. 6-6 build you could possibly make in the game. It was 6-6 with 99 speed and sharp take. And I can't forget the deep range shocker. This was basically just a three-point playmaker, but it got play take. Literally break ankles, whatever. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be interesting what takeover I choose in 2K22 because playmaking takeover is actually very, very fun and very useful at times as well. And then we can't forget about NBA 2K21 next gen. I actually made the 6-7 demigod in like the first day of the game as well. Like that was the first build I made. So, I mean, I hit the nail right on the coffin once again. The 6-7 demigod, I don't need to do much explaining. That was a demon build. I also had my 40 badge locked. 
on there as well once I hit legend on NBA 2K21 next gen. But once again, I had made one of the best builds in the game day one or prelude, whatever. Now the build I want to make in NBA 2K22 is going to be an ISO build. I want my main build to be able to ISO, right? I want to be able to take screens. I want to be able to do everything, but mainly ISO. Now, the most important thing is going to be the shooting rating. I need the build to be able to shoot correctly. I need to be able to shoot the three-pointer. I need it to be able to shoot consistently. Now, Mike Wang, who is a developer of NBA 2K22, he released on Twitter a couple days ago. Basically, he said that the 2K shooting is going to be more like 2K20, but not like 2K20. It's going to be more like 2K20. 20 compared to 2k21 so that means you're probably gonna be able to shoot on not exactly like a two-way slashing playmaker three-point shot but somewhere close to that so i'm gonna guess you're gonna need like a 72 78 three-pointer minimum to be able to iso right now i'm not talking about shoot wide open in the corner right so i'm probably gonna need a three-pointer like that because that's gonna be very important for me another thing is i want to be able to speed boost with this build unless the dribble moves that are right below the speed boost you know how like in 2k19 if you had like a 70 ball handle you unlock those other jewels if they have something like that then i could go a little lower with the ball handle but otherwise i need to be able to speed boost another thing is driving now if i can get contact dunks like that by a slasher on 2k21 current gen i'll take it right you know depending on how the builder is okay yeah i'll take the contact dunks but i don't need contact dunks as long as i can get like some decent dunk packages they also said there's gonna be a dunk creator like jump shot creators so low key if as long as i can just unlock the dunk creator and just get some unblockable dunks then i should be good to go i also always look for long wingspan on my build so i'm definitely gonna have a long wingspan i'm gonna have good defensive stats i don't want this build to be a liability on defense if anything i want it to be a good defender as well and i'm also gonna make it as tall as possible so if i can go six eight and still have a 90 something speed i'm gonna do it you know what i'm saying or six six i like to be a little on the taller side so that way you know if a play shot kind of smaller build pulls up i can easily dominate it iso wise but i still want to be fast though i still want a high speed obviously and then, of course, I want to get as many badges as possible in each category. That's driving, playmaking, shooting, and defense. Now, depending on whether I'm playing next gen or current gen, I'll probably drop a build video for both. Now, next gen, when it comes to that builder, I'll be able to customize everything. So, you know, I'll just try to pick and choose what stats I need, what's more important, and kind of the, you know, if you upgrade driving dunk, layup will go up as well with it, you know, so kind of like that thing. Now, with current gen, they're saying that they're adding new pie charts. So, I'm out of the builder right now. Let's just go ahead and look at the pie charts that 2k21 has now as you can see there's like a you know obviously we got the pure blue you got the pure yellow you got the pure green the pure red and then they added this one this is a newer one where it's kind of red you know mostly red but a little green there's also another one that i made this was the slasher build it was uh where's it at oh yeah, yeah yeah so it's like a lot finishing but a little green but not like half and half like this one so i feel like the other two or three pie charts they'll add is like the only ones missing right so what's missing maybe a pie chart that's like not pure yellow but not half yellow half red but like mostly yellow and a little bit red just like this one but basically like instead of green the yellow you know what i'm saying i feel like they're just gonna do ones like that they're just gonna add more like that so i don't know maybe those pie charts will be useful it really depends on the gameplay i still think the better pie charts could potentially be you know the half green half yellow which is like the play shot one right here but hopefully i want the half yellow the half red come back that was good in 2k20 hopefully that'll be good but i do think if they come out with a pie chart that's mostly yellow and a and like a little red i think that could be the wave because you're gonna get a higher three-pointer than a 67 you're gonna have like a 70 probably like a 75 three-pointer which is gonna be good enough in 2k21 22 to shoot right and you're still gonna have like you're gonna have a bunch of defense stats you're basically gonna be a lock it's gonna be like a a better shooting version of the two-way slashing playmaker hopefully you know what i'm saying so hopefully that is the build that's a w and it could probably get contact dunks too I'm, I'm 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 calling it right now okay if that pie chart is in 2k22 i, th I think that's gonna be the build you know what i'm saying so hopefully they add some pie charts that are useful please 2k for the love of god do not make play shot paint bees just overpower okay because we don't want to see that that the same lineup two years in a row get, can we get some variety in the gameplay, okay, thank you. 
Now, 2K also posted a blog talking about the game plan. I'm going to put the link in the description. Basically, it was a blog about, like, talking about defense, offense, post play, all kinds of stuff, takeovers, everything you really need to know. But it also talked about baddies, and I want to go over a couple of the baddies that I think I would probably use on my player or I think would be important. Now, before I go over the new baddies, because I'm only going to be talking about new baddies, bullet passers on current and the next gen this year. I already know. Just make sure you don't make a build without Bullet Passer. I'm not even going to explain why. Well, I'll explain it in my 2K22 official build video. But I'm already knowing people are about to waste a lot of EC on not having Bullet Passer. But anyways, let's get into some of these badges. Now, the first badge is Limitless Takeoff, which is ability to soar from further away on driving dunk attempts. Bro, you telling me if I got a Hall of Fame Limitless Takeoff, I'm going to be jumping for the free throw line? Is that what we're saying right now? Because... I'm definitely going to have that badge. Imagine how overpowered that would be if you, every time you're isoing, I can just dunk from the free throw line. Bro, no one's going to be able to guard me. You know what I'm saying? Another badge they have is called Chef, which is the ability to knock down Steph-like off-dribble three-pointers. Bro, imagine my iso build gets like shot-creating taken Hall of Fame Chef. Bro, I'm going to be like Ticino out there. Huh? No one's going to be messing with me. It's going to be so hard to contest my shots. Limitless spot up ability to hit logo range threes off catch and shoot. Now, I feel like this is kind of like the next gen limitless takeover where you can like shoot, catch and shoot half court threes. And you know, that's a W. So if I get takeover, if I have sharp take, I'll probably use this badge because I feel like it'd be more important with that. And then you definitely be able to shoot from hella far. Spacing would be a W. My spot up should probably have this badge. Imagine if I'm ice wind, my spot up's at like the hash and he could just shoot from even farther than the hash. That would be a W. Another one is mismatch expert ability to successfully shoot over tall defenders on a switch now what i'm thinking with this badge is let's say i make a shooting guard right and then my spot up makes a point guard that means the center is always going to guard me on the twos court and oh my god then this badge would be really overpowered if the center is always guarding me especially on the iso oh my god that would be overpowered. And then we got a couple of playmaking dribble badges. We have hyperdrive, boost the speed, effectiveness of moving dribble moves. So this just makes me a faster dribbler. Basically the same thing with quick chain, boost the ability to quickly chain dribble moves together. Definitely some must have badges it seems like. So I'm definitely probably gonna be using those. And then glue hands, basically this is like interceptor. Um, I'm definitely gonna wanna have interceptor, especially if I have long wingspan. And then of course the menace badge. Oh, I'ma be a menace in society y'all. Comment down below. Are you gonna have Hall of Fame Menace on? I'm gonna have Hall of Fame Menace chat significantly drops the offensive ratings of opponents when you smother them. Now, what I'm thinking with this badge is either gonna be completely useless or very effective. Because I'm all if I'm already smothering them, they're probably not gonna make it, right? Or it's gonna be like one of those badges where like I'm go I'm like in front of them, but like I'll get an even better contest. So hopefully it's kind of like that. Otherwise, it's gonna be kind of useless. Anyways, y'all, that is the rundown of what my NBA 2K22 build is going to be like. This is most likely the last NBA 2K21 type of video I'm going to make. So make sure you guys go follow my Twitch and turn on noties on YouTube because I will be streaming a lot on Twitch and NBA 2K22, and I will also have NBA 2K22 early so i will be posting videos and streaming as well so make sure you guys have the youtube notes on go follow my twitches as well it's going to be very lit this year i'm just gonna grind bro i'm gonna upload and stream more than i ever have hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it or thought this was good video subscribe to the channel if you guys new one mil on the way it's been your boy henry aka double hdf and i'm out y'all I ain't never had no friends, I was all alone She ain't never called my phone, she left me on my own They saying all girls are the same, brother than my town She said, can you stay with me, now I got a girl Diamond dripping off my deck, it's wet I'm about to flex up on my ex, with a check You said you with it